Welcome back. So I wanted to show you guys a simple ritual using white salt, raw white salt, a cross protection candle, petition paper, and a black mojo bag to help ward off evil, remove negativity, eliminate spiritual attacks, and even to help your kids at night to stop having all of those bad dreams. So anytime you're using a mojo bag or even when you're doing um, rituals with curios, powders, resin small items like that it is kind of like temporary relief until you can do something heavier so when you're using salt to you know ward off against the negative things that are con consistently coming forth at you constantly attacking you at night the mojo bag is going to help to kind of push that force back but you're still going to need something heavy like a heavy ritual um, a lot of baths, a lot of uh, lights set on a back-to-back -back basis. Like you're going to have to, you know, go through getting some good root work done to get that heavy protection around you. The temporary relief you're going to get basically would be like if you have a house and you put a door up and then you put a lock on. Now, of course, no one can get in, but if they tried hard, they can break the door down with the lock on. So you would set up a form of security and you'll probably get cameras on the outside. And then on the inside, you would purchase certain things to protect yourself in case they come in. So you'll be ready for any kind of attack. So with spiritual work, when you're using temporary relief to ward off, it is going to push them back just a bit. But they can still get closer if you are not powerful. They can get closer if they are constantly coming forth at you and their energy is heavier than yours. And they can still get in with a heavy amount of force. So this is where you're going to need that root work on a consistent basis, steady root work to build up that protection and to build up your heightened sense of security among you as well. You're gonna to need to protect yourself first, then you could go in and start protecting the family, the kids, the home and everything else that needs to be shielded and heavily you know, force filled on the inside. So if you're gonna use a mojo bag, if you're gonna use salt, if you're gonna use powders, if you're gonna be doing five spotting and different things like that, that is good temporary relief, but I, I, I don't want you to rely on that only. Okay, I want you to get um, oils. I want you to incorporate more baths. I want you to set up your fairy wall. I also want you to do a heavy long-term protective ritual to where they cannot touch you. When you're constantly getting spiritual attacks, it could be of many different things. You could be getting an attack from your enemy in which they're sending that energy towards you and or it could have gotten really, really far to where they have sent in an energy, a low vibration that is now hindering you. It's in your home. It could be in ghost form. It could be in demonic form. It could be in the darkest form you could ever possibly imagine spiritually. So there are many different ways that you could be spiritually getting attacked. So this is where you need to keep protection heightened on all levels. So raw white salt is going to be good for warding it off and pushing it back. It crumbles good, which is good for putting in protection bags. It crumbles really good, or you could just leave it whole. I like to do it in both forms. So for this ritual, you're gonna need, uh, this brown paper is um, for your petition. I have a petition video that you guys can watch and you could just like copy word for word, or just take some words out and write down a protective uh, petition. You're gonna need a white candle. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna combine Psalms 23 oil along with protection oil and a white cross candle along with, along with a black mojo bag. And the black mojo bag is going to be like your defense. It's good for defense against evil. And when you combine the salt inside, the petition for whom the mojo bag will be for and lighten that cross candle. You could do, you could light a cross candle every single day. It is going to be a great defense. And as I said, temporary relief until you can do something heavier, until you build yourself up and you can do something much more stronger. So the salt goes in the bag, the petition goes in the bag, the cross gets lit and dressed, Psalms 23 herbs, Psalms 23 oil, protection herbs, protection oil, you wrap up that uh, black petition bag really tightly, then you're going to get a resin and you're going to 
basically pray over it. You're going to seal it and then you either keep it in your room, over the door, in between the mattress or underneath your pillow, depending on what the situation is. If it is like kids, like if you have like two kids in the room, three kids in the room, then each child needs their own mojo. You cannot put more than one person for protective energy in the same mojo. It's just not going to be able to be strong enough to guard off. Remember, temporary relief until you do something heavier. So if you're going to set lights, say right now, next week, you won't be able to do it this week. Next week, you're going to set lights. Then the week after, you're going to get a bunch of fairy wall crosses. Then after that, you're going to go in with a, with a bit of heavier root work. Then, yeah, you can use the bag in combination with it. So when you see certain rituals, when I show you certain things, when I talk about certain uses of things spiritually, I would prefer that you use it in combination with other things to help build that power, build that energy, and continuously work it. I don't recommend you adding in too much into it, the salt prayed over when prayed over and blessed it is going to do what you want it to do so you're going to ask the salt to protect to shield and to ward off against evil low vibrations and any spiritual attacks keep it simple don't go on too much and remember one name per mojo bag once you've sealed it up do not reopen it it doesn't need any hair it doesn't need any nails that heavy prayer you can do it for a, a additional amount of days, maybe seven days if you feel like it. But remember, if you're going to do that, then you're going to need to not sage, but use charcoal res with a resin and continuously pray over it. So do like a good 10 minutes every day, seven days, and you can continuously put it back and forth in the room. If you keep on getting those spiritual attacks, things keep getting heavier. Consider you may not be strong enough to ward off the person and the evil um, energies that they continue to send you. So you will get a reading from me or you will go to somebody and get a reading and then you will get some work and start building it up. With protection work, you can continuously build on top of it and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Like, subscribe and stay blessed, guys.